In this video, I want to reveal six secrets that the insurance companies don't want you to know about your personal injury claim. My name is Matt Easton. I've been practicing personal injury law in Sacramento, California for the last 25 years. I deal with insurance companies on a daily basis, and in this video, I want to go over six things that they want to try and keep away from you. The first secret I want to reveal to you has to do with a recorded statement. Insurance companies love to manipulate you into believing that you've got to give a recorded statement to preserve your case. That's simply false, and in most situations, you're not required by law to give a recorded statement. Those statements are good for one reason and one reason only. That's for them to use against you. Insurance adjusters are trained at this. They're very good at manipulating those statements. And let me give you a classic example. They will call you up and get a recorded statement saying, so are you feeling better after the accident? And most people are, so they say yes. Then later on in the dialogue becomes, now that you're feeling better after the accident, then that later on transitions to, now that you're fine after the accident, and so many clients get suckered into that dialogue and start saying yes, yes, yes. Now they've got a recorded statement where you've minimalized or your injuries or otherwise said they don't exist. That's why you don't give recorded statements. The second secret that I want to reveal is very similar to the first, and it has to do with medical authorizations. Insurance adjusters are notorious for trying to get people to sign medical authorizations that are blanket releases for all medical records from your entire past. You don't have to provide that information to them. That's all protected by privacy and it's not relevant. What is relevant is only information from the body parts that were injured in the accident and arguably those same body parts going back a few years prior to the accident. But the blanket authorizations to get into your personal private history, you don't have to sign them and we highly encourage you not to. The third secret I wanna reveal is this false sense of urgency that insurance companies like to create. They will say, you've gotta act now, you've gotta give a statement now, you've gotta settle now. Now is not your friend. You should not do anything until your condition is stabilized and you are ready to settle your case when you know exactly what your injuries are gonna be. Now, the giant exception to that is there are statute of limitations and you wanna be sure and settle within the statute of limitations. But otherwise, take a deep breath and don't settle your case until you're ready. The fourth secret that I wanna reveal has to do with the policy limits. It's illegal for insurance companies to lie to you about the policy limits, and they don't normally do that. It's very, very rare. However, they're happy to lead you astray or let you continue to have the wrong belief that the policy is smaller than it is. Be very cautious when settling for what you think is the policy limits. You should actually ask for the policy declarations page and examine it for yourself. The fifth secret that I wanna reveal has to do with medical treatment. You are the one that gets to decide who you get to go and see for your medical treatment. Insurance companies will love to send you down a path that tells you that you have to go to their doctor or to their medical provider. You do not. There are some exceptions in the workers' compensation world, but in a personal injury case, you get to decide who you treat with. The sixth secret that I want to expose is admittedly a little self-serving, but it's an important one. Insurance companies love to lead you to believe that you don't need an attorney. And I will agree, in a lot of small cases, you're better off doing it on your own. However, if your case value is worth several times your monthly salary or greater, then that's a big financial decision. And that's the kind of decision you really should seek professional help to give you advice. We just went over six basic secrets that insurance companies don't want you to know when it comes to handling your claim. When you're dealing with an insurance adjuster, it's important to appreciate that an insurance company is not in the business of paying claims, they're only in the business of collecting premiums. They want to pay you as little as possible. That's their business model. So be very cautious with dealing with an insurance company. If you have questions about your claim, I hope you'll reach out to us. My name is Matt Eason. I'm with the law firm of Eason and Tamarini. We're located at 1234 H Street, Sacramento, California, 95814. You can find us on the web at www.capcitylaw.com or reach us by phone at area code 916 438 1819 and I wish you all the best in the handling of your claim.